So like you might already have seen in the subscription video, you will be prompted with multiple short guides. And in this video, I will play them one by one so you can go through all of them. Now I'll be muting my microphone to record the PC audio. Click this button to create a new exam book. In an exam book, you can create a series of question and answer sets, Q and A sets, for a subject you want to study for. These Q and A sets are essentially flashcards. You can also write additional notes relevant to your flashcards. These additional notes are referred to as articles and they can be shared, linked, among many flashcards. Finally, you can review the flashcards and organize them depending on how well you knew their answer. During your review, you can revisit the articles linked to each flashcard for better understanding. So after the first tutorial, you will have to create an exam book first to be shown the next one here because we already have one. It already shows. Uh, alternatively, you would click here and then type a name and then you would, would be prompted again with the next guide. After creating an exam book, click on its name to open it. Hover over its name to reveal a pencil icon and click on it to manage the exam book. You can add editors, viewers, rename it, archive it and delete it. Now I'll click on the exam book's name and it will open it. From kinds of things. You can write any... Sorry for that, I'll start from the beginning. Once your, one, once your new exam book is open, you can add two different kinds of things. Q&A sheets that contain the flashcards and articles where you can write any supplemental information for your flashcards. With this button, you add a new empty Q&A sheet where you can add multiple flashcards, Q&A sets. Use those for anything you want to learn by heart for an exam. With this button, you can add a new empty article. An article can be shared among multiple flashcards. And now we'll go ahead and create a Q&A sheet by clicking this button here. After you click it, it opens automatically. It's like you would click here. And here we have the next guide. With this plus button, you can add a new empty question and answer set. The question acts like the front view of a flashcard and the answer like the back view. Once you want to learn the flashcards you have created, Use this play button to start testing yourself on them. And this, these were the tutorials. Now I'll create two more, uh, one more flashcard here. Let's say here I would type the question and then I would type the answer here. Sorry about that. And then if I would want to create a new question, I would click here. Click question two and here. I just take this here from the first one and click answer two. Now I will go ahead and create an article. These, the title of the, the title of the article, they are act also as tags. Like, I don't have to write something here, but I sure can write something. So let's say we have some information related to the question one. Information related to question one. Then I could connect it here with this question and I would see it under the article. And here you could type 
a title. You will be shown the title here and here. When you are on a different card and you want to link this card with this article, you click here again. And as you can see, all the questions are shown down here. So both questions here are linked to this single article. So to be more accurate here, I would have to type information related to question one and two. And let's say I have another question, question three, with an answer to question three. And let's say question, question three is irrelevant to the other questions. And I would want to generate another article for question three. Then I would create here a new article. Article. And then I could connect it with this one. Now, if you click this button here, the shrink button, you only see the questions as a small tag, like this here. If you click this and you are in a, on a different question or this is closed, if you click this, it will open the related question and it will show it to you. Similarly, if you would uh, click this green tag like button, then it will open you the related article, which will show you underneath the other related questions. This is useful if you want to learn about uh, content related to your questions that uh, isn't um, the answer, but it is around the answer and it is related to the answer or it is information related to both questions. It is a bigger picture that helps you understand them. Now, there is an, a different view. If you click this here, then you can see all the questions in this question sheet. And here you can see every question has its own article connected to it. It is similar to this view here, the one you already saw. Here you can also hide the questions if you click this button here. Then you see only the answers. That might be help helpful if you want to create, if you want to write here your article and you want to focus on this information here. In case you want to change the order of these questions, you only have to click this gear here and then you drag and drop them wherever you like. And you can delete the questions using this button here, which would need a confirmation. Then, if you want to review these questions, there are a few different ways. One of which is this play button here. Once you click it, they're loaded into your self-testing, let's say, sub-app, where you hear you're asked the question. Now it's very small because it's just one small question, one word, two words, one word and one number. You would click answer and then here's the answer. If you haven't created any difficulty options, you can create defaults by clicking here and you will understand it now. Now, because I clicked it, the defaults are hard, medium, easy, and done. This looks a little bit like Anki, but these here, they do not act. There is not a very smart algorithm. These are just like containers. And you put each question, you 
link it to a different container. So if question one is hard, I click on hard. And now you can see here that the question is in this hard container. And now let's say I know this one a little bit better. And I would click easy and it goes to easy. And let's say question three is hard again. I click on hard and I'm done. Now, if you're in the last question, you will be shown again this one. And when this number here becomes yellow, you know the background, you know you've reached the end of this deck. You can go through this deck in the order these cards are just by going to the home button, you, which I just clicked. And if you would want to revise only the cards that are hard for you, you click here on hard. And now we will see question one. Let's say this time I know it a little bit better. I click medium and then you will be shown question three. And let's say I know this one easy, like it was easy for me. Now you see these questions moved up to medium and easy. And let's say now I want to revise again these ones here. I click on answer again. And let's say this time I learned it. I was very good at it and I click done. And let's say I know these ones too. Again, I click on done and done. And now I know that I know all the questions very good. And I can go through them here or here. Now, in case you want to create custom buttons here, difficulty buttons, you can customize them here. If you create this, if you click it again, you will get another set of these here. So I'll demonstrate here. And if you want to delete them, you just click here. The trash button. So let's say I want to create a custom one. Revise tomorrow or revise the day before the exam. Okay, I'm sure I would use a shorter name, but we'll go with this now. So as you can see, if I would revise this exam, these questions, either from here or here, if I click answer, now I have this option as well. Note that once you go through them again from this deck here, they will be moved from the other difficulty buttons, containers to the one you, the new one you click. Like so. Now here we only get a three because we did not define a name for this um, Q and A sheet. I'll go ahead and fix it now. So I chose this title and now you will see the title of the Q and A sheet here. As I mentioned earlier, there are an, there's another way to revise the cards. If you move your cursor on the bottom here, and I suggest you to have uh, the browser at full screen, because if you don't, and you're on Windows, then you will see this button here, this, the taskbar beneath. That's why I like using the browser window on full screen with by pressing F11, or if you click Alt, View, and full screen, and then you only see this orange navigation bar. Here, you can change the, the name of the exam book. And this here is a quick way to overview your questions. And you can scroll the 
not scroll, you can hover with your cursor <coughs> over the question and then you will see the answer under the question. Not only that, you will see also the information of the related articles. Like you see here, answer one is related to this article here. And when you hover over this, you see this information. Similarly here in question two, you see the same information. And in question three, we see the, <coughs> the other article. Also note that each question can be linked with more articles. Like for example, let's assume that question one is also related to article two. And I will indicate this by typing it here. Then I click again this connect button and you can see that question one is related now to these two articles. Like you might have already seen here in the testing um, functionality, under the, if you answer a question, under the question, you see these article tags here. If you click on them, they will be opened and you can read them like so. So let me show you the last way you can see your notes. If you click, if you hover here and click this link, a new tab will open and you have currently these four options. You can either see only the questions and you can either just test yourself here or this is more intended for you to print it and then test yourself on paper. Or you can <clears throat> choose the first option here, which is similar to the one I already showed you here in the app, where you click here. <clears throat> now you can see both articles are under question, under the answer one, because we related them both. and questions with all answers and articles visible. This is the same like before, but you don't have to hover over it. This is useful if you want to copy everything to Microsoft Word or Google Docs to take backups of your notes. And this option here is the like the question, it is the reverse, you show first the articles and then the questions and related to these articles. The questions will repeat themselves. And in case you have questions that aren't linked to any article, then they won't be shown here. Similarly, if you have articles that aren't linked to any question, they won't be shown here. For example, Let's say we have question four here. Question four and answer four. And we have another article. Article. I'm going to call it orphan article. Okay. Article not connected to any question. So you will see the question here, it is visible in the questions, but the article related to question four, actually not, there's no article related to question four. This orphan article isn't visible anywhere here. Neither is it is, we cannot find it here as well, but we can see it here, the orphan article, but here you cannot see Question four. So this is, this was the short introduction. 
You can also indent here your articles and you can move them as well. And if you want to, in case the articles become many, you can go through them. You can search them here. Like if I click A or O or T, then we we see only the related articles that contain this string here. Another thing is if you click on this, it shrinks if you want more space or you can click this button here, the focus button, which will also make this disappear. Or if you have here both, uh, if you only have an article open and want to write notes here, you can click this and make these sidebars and the email disappear. I will stop this short guide now because it actually became a little bit long.